A title match for the National TV Championship, one fall of 15-minute time limit. Introducing first from Huntsville, Alabama, weighing it at 231 pounds, Bobby Eaton. His opponent from Edina, Minnesota, weighing it at 234 pounds, the National TV Champion, Steve O. One fall, 15 minutes for the title. All right, Steve O out of Edina, Minnesota, going up against Bobby Eaton, the National Television Championship on the line. And Steve O has certainly been as good as his word. He said he was going to defend this title against any and all comers. Uh, young Bobby Eaton has uh, impressed me in the past couple of weeks that I've watched him compete. Uh, whether he's up to uh, the measure of somebody like Steve O, I just don't know. Remember now, this match is 15 minutes in duration. A duck under, go behind, waist cinch by uh, Steve O. It drops into a takedown on Eaton. Eaton back to his stomach very quickly. Went for a leg, uh, couldn't get it back on his feet. Steve-O, arm drag and twist on Eaton. Eaton, in the weeks that I have seen him compete, is uh, extremely aggressive. Very powerful for a man his size. He's got his problems now with Steve-O. Steve-O, very bright, articulate young man. He has uh, two brothers who are professional athletes. Eaton trying a move, and Steve, uh, notice that, good block by Steve-O. And it's Steve-O coming off now with a good shoulder smash. Eaton drops to the canvas. Back on his feet, a leapfrog by Steve-O. Steve-O moves into his man, has him up. A full body slam. And so, the and as uh, Eaton charged him, Steve-O took him down with a good arm drag, and so Bobby Eaton has to be a frustrated man. Well, he's eager, he's ambitious, he wants that national TV title, but uh, so far, Steve-O acquitting himself extremely well. Heat cross-facing now. Steve-O able to block that, however, rather easily. Steve-O. Maintains a good solid pressure now. Uh, Eaton. Grab that near leg. Steve O able to back away from it, however. Uh, Steve O has the and it is Eaton now. Trapping the left leg, and Steve O might try to now sir. Drops down and scores the take. Lateral press it was Eaton. Firing up after the uh, count. Good move by Steve-O. Had the hammer lock, then uh, now underhooked the arm, tried to get him over back to a pinning combination. He's got to be careful. Eaton is uh, clever. Good move by Steve-O. Good ride that time into a hammer lock, once again into an advantage position for Steve-O. Steve-O, underhooking the other arm, floats over. Tries to have Eaton, uh, tries to get those shoulders down, cannot. But Eaton has himself a lot of strife right now. And Eaton, good move that time, but they're into the ropes, the referee calls for the break. Eaton drives the knee. Now Eaton, with the flat of the foot, has Steve-O. Possible trouble here. Wow, Eaton throwing the rule book to one side. Now on Cork's a right hand. Eaton with a snap mare on the champion into a rear chin lock. And so Steve O, who has been moving ahead of his opponent most of this match, suddenly finds himself uh, in trouble with the challenger. Of course, Eaton is battling not only Steve-O, but now Eaton has to battle the clock. 
The championship can only change hands uh, on a pinfall or a submission. Cannot change via disqualification, and if the time limit runs out, the match is a draw, and of course, Steve-O retains uh, the national television championship. Steve-O, I'm sure, Looking, ah, ah, Eaton caught him with a right hand coming off the ropes. Eaton now with an elbow to the face of the skull of Steve Owen. The champion has been staggered. And it is Bobby Eaton now pressing every advantage possible on Steve O. A snap mare has O down. Lateral press, no sir. Steve O powers out before a count could even get started. Now Steve O retaliates. Steve O catches him a glancing blow off the side of the chin. Steve O a high, high hip toss on uh, Bobby Eaton. Steve O into the air. Flying drop kick hooks that, uh, no sir. Apparently that shoulder is not down. So Steve O. Manages to put the pressure back on Bobby Eaton once again as he had uh, real problems with his challenger. And Steve O now keeping that head scissors watching the seconds tick by and of course uh, time is a tremendous factor here the prestige of the national television championship on the line steve keeps the head scissors on uh, bobby eaton eaton trapped and eaton trying to force his way out steve o Trying to hook that uh, body back in, but it is Eaton. Slowly getting that head out of there. Eaton goes for the side headlock. Keeps the side headlock. Steve-O brings him up. Belly to back souffle. And that may be all she wrote for Mr. Bobby Eaton. Steve-O moves up against him once again. Brings him up. Steve-O unable to pin him that time, so it brings uh, Eaton up once again. Power slam that time, and that's all she wrote on. No, sir. No, sir. Eaton came out of it again. Standing guillotine. The abdominal stretch by uh, Steve-O, and uh, Eaton, I'm reasonably sure is going to have to concede at this point. And Eaton in all kinds of trouble here. No, sir. Back to the ropes. Back to the ropes. He's forced the break. Eaton caught him on the break. Short clubbing and blow with the elbow. And so Eaton... And I gotta say something about uh, Bob Eaton. He is uh, proving worthy to meet the test. Vertical souffle by Eaton. And it is Steve-O powering out. And this has turned into a very even contest indeed. A shortcut there, but it was a four. And Steve-O fired back and rocked the challenger. Steve-O catches him again, rocks him once again. And Steve-O. Firing of some of the tactics of Eaton now, beginning to give him some of his own medicine. Snap mare by uh, Steve-O has Eaton back to the canvas. Steve-O up on that second rope. Oh, ooh. Brought those knees up as Steve-O came crashing down. No, sir, they're on the ropes, but uh, Steve-O has to be in trouble here. Caught in the midsection with those into an inside cradle. Beautiful move. Eaton powered out again before the count of uh, three, however. Steve-O caught him in the midsection, coming in. Off into the ropes. And it is Steve-O right behind his man, a rolling reverse. He's got him one. No, sir. And Eaton, no, they're into the ropes. They're into the ropes. Uh, this is a very close battle indeed. Steve-O with a forearm. Whips him into the far turnbuckle, charges in. Double leg dive. He got him. He got him, Bobby Eaton. Bobby Eaton caught 
Steve-O coming off of those ropes. Scored the takedown, scored the pinfall. And now there's a dispute on that situation right now. But as far as I can tell at this moment, uh, Bobby Eaton is the new television champion. But uh, there is some controversy surrounding that. And uh, we'll uh, be looking into that a little bit further, a little bit later on. Right now, all right, Dick. Uh, all right, Dick. Uh, you've got a very busy schedule ahead of you this week. You know, as I said before, I'm here for one reason and one reason only. Not because I'm here for a bounty. Not because somebody asked me to come here. I'm here because of one thing, and that one thing is the Mongolian Stomper. The man has run over a lot of people. I hear it everywhere I go, all over the country. The Mongolian stompers hurt somebody else. Well, let me tell you something. I'm going to give you the opportunity. I'm going to give them the opportunity. I'm signing my name to every contract that I can get my hands on for the stomper, whether it be in Chattanooga, which I will be there, and I'll wrestle the stomper there. But another main important thing is in Marietta. That's another one. Mongolian Stomper, you may get sick and tired of seeing Dick Slater's face, but you're going to see it for a long time, and I want to see you run over me. I might just mention, too, while we're talking about this, a new uh, starting time now for the matches in Griffin, Georgia, and that'll be uh, Sunday afternoons at 3 p.m. And by the way, tickets go on sale Monday at all the locations in Columbus, Ohio, for the matches upcoming on the 22nd. And, of course, you're going to be at the Omni on February 8th as well. That's right, but right now the main importance, like I said, is doing what I came here to do, and that is to put away the Mongolian stomper. And I usually do what I say. If I don't, well, then I'm not the man I say I am, and I am the man that I am. Well, there's no question about that. And, of course, uh, Dick Slater had told you he will be in uh, Chattanooga uh, tonight. Of course, uh, he'll also be competing in Marietta tomorrow night. He'll be at the Omni on, uh, on February 8th. Of course, matches upcoming at Columbus, Ohio on the 22nd, Florence, Alabama on February 6th that this man right here is going to beat Dick Slater. <laughs> they say he's wild and wooly. Well, let me see how wild and wooly he is. Indeed, Dick Slater after Levert. Oh, and Dick Slater has him up. A belly-to-belly -belly souffle. Well executed. Well, five and a half minutes. Five and a half minutes it took him to beat that man right there. The man's never been in the ring before. Five and a half well, minutes is what it took you. And you think you're going to take the title. You've got to be out of your tree, boy. Well, you know, well, you need a lesson. Oh. You need a real good lesson. Somebody ought to stick I something up you. here. Huh? He can sit there and run his mouth all he wants. Well, if you're so strong, go get your stopper. Because I'll be right there, huh? All right? Why don't you straighten your act out? You're looking a little messed up, huh? You want me to mess up some more? Huh? Hey. Wait a minute now. We've got a challenge existing here. Here comes the stopper. And the stopper... The stopper is ready, but Don Carson does not want him in there. He is uh, arguing against that situation uh, vehemently, pushing the stopper back. And... Uh, Sit out here and run his mouth. We'll get him in the ring. That's all I care about. Well, all I can tell you right now is... Uh, Thank heavens we averted a problem here. During the next hour here on Georgia Championship Wrestling, the Georgia Tag Team Champions will be in a championship title defense. Uh, the match will be one fall with television time remaining. And I might just point out that uh, should we cut away to a commercial or something during the match uh, and a pinfall or submission occurred during that particular period of time, we'll replay it back on instant replay so you won't miss any of it. But I'd like to introduce at this time the new Georgia Tag Team Champions, Ted DiBiase and Stan the Man Frazier. Thank you very much, Gordon. You know, you can see where the belts are sitting, and I think that that speaks for itself. You know, I heard what Michael Hayes had to say, and I'll tell you something, Hayes. You've got a very large capacity for stretching the truth. And I'll just go ahead and say it, you're an out-and-out -out liar. You know, he's talking about what he has said, and the word is that they had to buy this match today, that they practically had to pay to get us to put the titles up against them today. That's as far from the truth as you can get. The fact of the matter is that we won these belts because the third free bird was eliminated. Robert Fuller and myself injured Terry Gordy in Columbus, Ohio, injured his knee, and because he wasn't present, that's why these belts are where they are. Michael Hayes is panic-stricken. He's panicking because one of his free birds is not there. Now, the guy tried to come back a little bit early, and he re-injured that knee, so he is out of commission right now. Now, today, the only stipulation that we had, the only thing we asked for was that 
Michael Hayes guarantee that he gets in that ring and wrestles. And if he would do that, that we would put the titles on the line today, right here on television, if I could get my hands or get the chance to get our hands on Michael Hayes right here and right now. And they have agreed to do that. He's panicked, Gordon. He's panicked because the, the belts are ours. One of his men is missing, and he doesn't know which way to go. He's been forced into that ring. He's not going because he wants to. He's going because he has no other choice, and I like it that way, Gordon. Fair enough. Congratulations, gentlemen, the new Georgia Tag Team Champions, Ted DiBiase, Stan Frazier. They'll be going up a title defense against the Freebirds right after we pause for these words. Hey, now before I was rudely interrupted, I just want to tell, this guy's out here telling a bunch of lies. First of all, the only way that they stole those belts in Augusta was because Robert Fuller came out and interfered. That was three on two. Now, just to prove the fact, because we did almost have to buy this match, because they know any any combination of the Freebirds will whoop them like the dirty dogs they are. Terry's hurt, okay? He's not here. You want some of me, punk? You're fixing to get every bit that you can handle, boy. And as far as that car, that car's a pigsty. It's not nice enough to let my dog ride in it. I'm going to send that thing down and get it cleaned up and get some of the stink out of it that was in it from its previous owner. I don't think all of this diatribe is necessary. If you gentlemen are going to have a title match, I suggest you move on into the ring. And at this time, let's turn it over to our ring announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a title match for the Georgia Tag Team Championship. One fall, a TV time limit. Introducing first the challengers with a combined weight of 470 pounds. The toast of the coast, Michael Hayes and Buddy Roberts, the fabulous Freebird. The Freebirds. Their opponents, the Georgia Tag Team Champions from Omaha, Nebraska, weighing in at 247 pounds, Ted DiBiase. His partner from Philadelphia, Mississippi, weighing in at 455 pounds, Stan Frazier. This is for the title. TV time limit. Your referee is Nick Patrick. Nick Patrick is the referee. We said, of course, one fall television time. Should a pinfall or a submission occur uh, in the event we are uh, have cut away to a commercial or something, why uh, uh, we'll certainly play it back for you. We are being totally covered electronically. DiBiase moving out against uh, Buddy Roberts. And neither man able to gain any advantage at that point. DiBiase eyes his man, collar and elbow once again, and once again, neither man able to gain any advantage. It was uh, Roberts missing, and DiBiase brought him up, atomic knee drop. And Roberts... Circling and watching his man uh, a little more cautiously now. DiBiase, 247 pounds. Tall, rangy individual. Roberts outside the ring, and uh, so DiBiase wants Michael Hayes in. Remember now, the Georgia Tag Team Championship on the line. DiBiase and uh, Stan Frazier. And Frazier, a giant of a man himself, seven feet tall, over 400 pounds. Good shoulder smash by DiBiase, DiBiase. And behind his man, good flying drop kick by DiBiase. DiBiase goes up, flying head scissors that has Roberts back to the canvas once again. And so I'll say this much about DiBiase. He is carrying the battle to the challengers. He is not the least bit uh, uh, deep. Uh -uh. Roberts, attention diverted momentarily, and uh, Roberts trying to roll him into a pinning combination. Neither man asking or giving any quarter here whatsoever. And the referee warning uh, Michael Hayes. Up to the ropes, DiBiase comes off, catches Roberts once again, another good shoulder smash this time up and over his man off the rope. Roberts was set for him that time, moved in. DiBiase breaks it up. DiBiase, hip lock takedown. And so Roberts will be looking to tag if he can. DiBiase has been carrying the battle to it. 
Hayes agitating from the outside and the referee warning Hayes to stay in his corner. Roberts driving a knee to the midsection of DiBiase. DiBiase smashed into the knee of Michael Hayes. Michael Hayes makes the tag. Hayes closes in on DiBiase. Hayes a forearm to the side of the jaw. Hayes with another forearm. And it is Hayes giving everything he's got and DiBiase catches him. And Michael Hayes tags up very quickly. DiBiase catches Buddy Roberts, spins him around, drops him with a hard right hand. Full body slam by DiBiase. Hayes interfering from outside. Tag is made. Big Stan Frazier moves in. Big Stan Frazier had Roberts up. Frazier ripped across the eyes now by uh, Buddy Roberts. Frazier trapped in that uh, corner and it is uh, Michael Hayes and Buddy Roberts both pounding away. And that Frazier is a big, big man. Trying to battle his way back out of the uh, corner, down to one knee. And Hayes now continues to punish Stan Frazier. Hayes on his back now, but Frazier breaks that up. Frazier back to his feet, brought with a flying drop kick. Frazier having his problems here is Hayes and Buddy Roberts. Attacking him with everything they've got, and Frazier. Tried to make it over to tag up, could not, as Frazier continues to try and get over there. Buddy Roberts trying to block him. Frazier. Roberts doing everything in his power. He was choking there. The referee forces the break. And it is uh, Frazier on the canvas. And he's got a handful of problems here. Buddy Roberts makes the tag once again. Michael Hayes moves in. Hayes with forearms across the back of Frazier. Frazier catches the short chopping punches to the midsection. Again, the tag is made. Frazier, drop to the canvas once again. DiBiase was reaching out to tag him, but I don't think Frazier was aware of it. Staying with the action here now. Frazier in trouble. Frazier caught again by Roberts. The only problem is that attacking Frazier is like attacking a mountain. You don't know where to start. You don't know uh, how effective you're going to be. You can't see any results of it. And Frazier powers him off, makes the tag. DiBiase moves back into the ring. DiBiase, three stinging left hand. DiBiase in a high, high backdrop. And let's stay with the action. Stay with the power slam by DiBiase. And he's after Michael Hayes. He has Hayes into the ring as well. Now we've got all four of them in the ring. We've got all four of them in the Frazier has Hayes up a full slam. DiBiase. And wait a minute. Both men, both men outside. And the battle goes on. The battle goes on between DiBiase. And now Terry Gordy's in there. Terry Gordy, who is supposed to be injured. The count is on. Oh, wait just a second. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Terry Gordy was out there. Well, I don't know. We've got confusion going on here. A pinfall was scored, but it was after Terry Gordy came into the ring. And now, Buddy Roberts and Ted DiBiase battling it out. Now, Terry Gordy's in there against the Ted DiBiase. And we've got the absolute mayhem going here, the three of them, after Ted DiBiase. And Ted DiBiase. The carnage continues here as the referee trying to get the situation separated. Wait a minute, here comes uh, Robert Fuller in there. Robert Fuller in now, DBS, he's back on his feet. And uh, 
Fuller and DiBiase have now cleared the ring. I'm trying to get clarification on the... Uh, referee has just informed me he's holding up the belts. The referee has taken the responsibility of holding up the belts uh, due to the interference that uh, Terry Gordy perpetrated in the center of the ring. So, uh, okay, all right. So, the Terry Gordy's interference, the belts have been held up. The belts are held up, and uh, they're administering now to stand the man, Frazier. And we're talking about this Michael Hayes and all of this, and earlier the junkyard dog was mentioned. Well, I'll tell you.